Hello Internet, in today's video we're going to learn everything about Shopify Hydrogen Environment Variables and my guess is, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you tried to do something like this in your Shopify Hydrogen codebase and it did not work and by this I mean you tried to do to access environment variables like we do it, uh, like we've been doing it um, for ages in any uh, Node.js project by doing process.env dot the name of the environment variable, and this won't work uh, in a Shopify Hydrogen uh, project, uh, as at least in the Shopify Hydrogen project as it's scaffolded by the Shopify CLI. And the reason is Remix, as you well know, is the um, the framework on top of which Shopify Hydrogen is built. And Remix has the cons um, can run on different runtime environments, right? So you have the concept of ad adapters where you can run your Remix project either on a Cloudflare pages environment, on a Cloudflare workers environment, on a Node.js environment, and you have other environments like Vercel, Netlify, and so on. You have different adapters and you can even create custom ones if you want to. And Shopify Hydrogen uses the Cloudflare workers uh, adapter, right? But it wraps it behind Shopify Oxygen, which is uh, um, the deployment platform provided to Shopify merchants by the Shopify guys to deploy their custom storefront. And as you can see here from this article, which I highly recommend you to read, is how we build Oxygen. Hydrogen's counterpart for hosting custom storefronts. If you look at this diagram here, you can see clearly that they use, uh, in order to build Oxygen, Oxygen is just Cloudflare workers wrapped uh, behind some uh, business logic that are Shopify specific to allow you, because if you were to build, um, uh, your, if you, were to, you can very much deploy your app, your, your storefront on Cloudflare, and but you'll have to do all of these things yourself like observability uh and, and, and all of these things you'll have to do uh them by yourself which is perfectly fine if you have the dev resource to do that but all that to say um that if you were are to use the way to use environment variables in your uh, shopify hydrogen store is the same way you will use environment variables in cloudflare workers project and which lands us in the Cloudflare workers documentation. Well, the way to define environment variable in a Cloudflare worker project is to define them in the wrangler.toml uh, file. But when you ask me, and rightly so, I don't see any wranglers.toml file in my project. If I search for it, I don't see anything. And you are right. The, thing, the reason is Shopify wrapped um, um, the, um, the wrangler. Toml file abstracted that away from us and give us the familiarity of the .env file, but under the hood things still work the same way as if you were as if you were using the Wrangler.toml file, and by the same way I mean, first of all, environment variables are not accessible uh, in your loaders uh, um, or anywhere else apart from one place. Okay. This one place is the server because what, when we are here, we are still we, we still have access to. And if you remember when we looked at the Shopify Hydrogen architecture video, which I'll which I'll add the link in the description, we explain uh, how this server connects. It's basically like the entry point for everything. Okay, we def we, we we looked at how the bindings and the environment variables. If if I console log here, for example, if I do a console log log and then emv okay and then i visit the page okay you will see that the environment variables that are defined here okay session secret and public store domain and others are locked here for us to see right see so session secret and public store domains right if i add another one let's say i add one more mvar okay and I refresh the page, probably it will require a restart of the server. Right? So if I go up here, well, yeah, it doesn't. So one more Envar added, right? You can see that here. And you have access to that environment variable here. But if you try to do that, let's try it again. If you try to do a uh, log, let's say, of uh, env 
let's say let's grab the name here like this one more well, let's grab this one the session secret this and we do process dot env dot this okay and we try to log that if i visit the collections page let's see what happens let me let me comment out this first so we don't have uh, console bloated so if i go in the collections see process env is not defined right you get the, you get an error right and that's probably what you try to do and, and it didn't work and that's not possible in a cloudflare um, um worker project which is basically what remix uh, shopify oxygen is okay so now that you have exposed the problem how do we solve it well it's very simple here you can see here um um that we have access to the environment variable at this stage right so all we have to do is expose them in the context okay when we are building the upload context i, I highly once again i highly encourage you to watch the video um where we did uh we reviewed the architecture of a shopify hydrogen project okay and we saw we learned about the execution context if i comment this make this a bit smaller the execution context here and the upload context right this thing here which is defined here as you can see the upload context here if i look at uh let me see where that is defined it's in the, defined here in the upload context this is the upload context that's been defined and basically that means everything that is returned from here is accessible from within our um from within our loader okay and namely the context here has the environment variable as you can see from here right so this is the env so if we do now let's try and do what we tried to do earlier but instead of doing that like that we do instead context okay like oh one sec context now this will work okay now this will work perfectly fine without any issue so if we refresh again the page like that you see we have our session secret is full bar all right so this is how you access your environment variables um within a remix project you don't do process.env dot uh the name of the environment variable you do context.env dot the name of the environment but in order for that to work you need to export it from here right you need to export it in the context and in order to export it you first need to add it into your upload context because let's say i remove this here from the upload context well typescript first of all is going to complain here uh, that it doesn't know this and then i have to remove it from here and then if i do that again it's going to give me another find so if i refresh the page again it's going to give me and yeah you see it's going to give me and uh server error because that's not accessible anymore the environment variables are not accessible in, in my project anymore so let me put that back okay and add that back to the context uh to upload context type okay if i refresh the page everything should work again fine all right now another thing that's very and, and i faced this myself when i was still learning cloudflare workers is usually you, you, you need your environment variables for your services and by service i mean something like this like you are querying a database or you are querying a cms and so on right <clears throat> you want your environment variables when you're creating the client for those things right so in in, in a typical node.js project you can instantiate this thing from anywhere pretty much everywhere uh, you can then import them you can import your storefront like this uh, from a, from a from a storefront module like you're importing any other thing and then you query it from here right that's what you will do if you look at the the, the remix documentation for example they will have prisma they import the prisma client here and then they will create the, the, the prisma client from from the from the from the loader but that mean that means that the prisma client was uh, defined in the module x that was outside of the server uh, of the of the fetch function here okay and that means that that module needs to have access to an environment variable that works fine if you're in the node environment and maybe let's go to the remix docs to show what i mean by that if you look at um, uh, simple uh let's see maybe the tutorial here let's see i'm just loading the data 
okay so you see you have this get contacts and probably this this is a route where um, this is calling probably a CMS all right and you have to import it like this right but this requires you to have access to your environment variables within this data file which you don't okay so what you have to do instead which is the way to work with environment variables uh, in, in, in any Cloudflare workers project is to define any service that needs access to environment variables in this server.ts file and inject them in the context okay of your in your upload context right so any service that needs access to the environment variables you need to add them into upload context like this and you need to instantiate them from within here when you still have access to the .env file okay and once you do that in within within your um, application as you do you see them do here you, you, you have here cons storefront equals context where we um we structure the storefront because that's the only thing we need from here and then we can make queries right obviously the storefront is the storefront as a stuff has access to the environment variables but it's not exposed in the loader which we're going to look a bit more in details in the uh, security tip video uh, about um, uh, environment variable leakage so here you have you can query your your um, storefront and this is making obviously authenticated queries right because we have here the secret key uh, the session secret and everything so that's basically it uh, in terms of uh, environment variables and uh, how they work within the context of not only a Cloudflare worker project, a Cloudflare pages project, and also um, because Shopify Oxygen is built on top of it and used by Shopify Hydrogen, therefore a Shopify Hydrogen project. I hope you found this useful and if you did, please give us a, give us a thumbs up. That's very encouraging and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.